Hey, Benjamin Soma here. I wanted to show you how to use the colorizer to colorize a button switch. So let's say you want to turn on and off this device here, this MIDI pitch. And so we'll go into Ableton's built-in MIDI mapping mode, click on the button that we want to map, and click the button on our hardware. Uh, this is a launch pad here. And so when we leave that mode, you'll see that whenever the button is turned on, it's always going to be orange. And that's just the nature of Ableton Live. And even if we were to edit the colorizer here, let's make it 95, and that's going to be pink. But if we were to press the button again, it's going to go back to orange. So what do we do? What we can do is go back into our MIDI mapping mode. And in addition to mapping this device switch, we're also going to map this coordinate. And so I have it clicked. And then we press our button. And so now we have minimum and maximum here. This is going to be just like the color number that you type in here. So at minimum, we'll leave it at zero so it turns off. Um, and then we'll change this one to 95. And let's leave the MIDI mapping mode. And now, whenever the button is turned on, it will be pink. So this is great if you want to have a whole bunch of different uh, switches that are all different colors and that way you can remember which ones they are. And I just wanted to show you that the turning on and off of this color and the switch are their two independent processes so um, if you find that they're out of sync like this pink is on but this is this switch is off um, all you need to do is use your mouse to click it and that way, the color and the switch are in sync with each other. So there you go. That's how you set up the colorizer to colorize different switches. So you can find out more about me and the colorizer at BenjaminSoma.com. Enjoy.